Now, how many guys in this room shave with a safety razor? Anybody shave? Yeah? What brand do you use? I don't remember. You don't remember? Wow. Okay. You just, whatever you see on the shelf? It was given to me by a friend. But, I said, but you have to go replenish the blades, though, don't you? So you must refill the cartridges, huh? It came with enough. So what do you shave, like once a year? No. Okay. About every three days. All right, so who, who, who knows what brand of razor they shave with? Anybody? What do you shave with? I know you're, you, you've got the, the fashionable millennial stubble thing going, but when you do shave, what do you shave with? You shave with your left fusion. Okay. Have you tried one of the direct brands? Harry's or DSC? And what do you say? What do you like? You like shoes? Okay, but you still but you still go with fusion you buy them at the store? Yeah. Okay. Alright, anybody else want to tell me about their shaving habits? Because this is an interesting story, I will tell you that. Okay? I don't shave that often, but when I do, I use Harris. You use Harris, cool. Okay. How about you? You've got a I use you. You use Jet. You buy them at the store. Yes. Okay. David, what about you? Uh, I just trade them. Okay, but what do you trim with, like a, an electric razor? So you don't have a, a, a safety razor, huh? Okay. All right, so I want you to think about this. So this guy, imagine your parents have such high ambition for you that they name you King. So King Gillette was born in the late 1880s, and by the year 1901, he decides he's going to disrupt the razor market. Pretty simple market. Up until the time that King Gillette came up with his company, Men shave with what were called straight razors. A straight razor is a very sharp instrument that typically is handled by an old school barber, okay? And if you don't know what you're doing, you can cut yourself pretty damn well with the straight razor. Mm -hmm. So King Gillette came along and said, you know what, it's not really all that cool to go out almost every morning with cuts on your face. How about we come up with a safety razor which minimizes the likelihood that you're gonna cut your face? And like most great ideas, people thought he was an idiot. Okay? People thought this was the stupidest idea they'd ever heard. Well, of course, Mr. Gillette laughed all the way to the bank, and he became the dominant provider of safety razors. And the Gillette Corporation, both as an independent entity and then when they were purchased by Procter & Gamble, became a company that was valued at tens of billions of dollars. Okay? Now, if you do shave with Gillette Mach 3 razors, you'll note that today they're no longer in the aisles at CVS or Walgreens, they become way too expensive for that, okay? So you can actually go pay $32 for a four pack of cartridges, right? Of the blades that you put on the top of the razor. So these guys have continued to squeeze high margin profit out of the marketplace, okay? And it really started to frustrate some people. So of course what happens is when you sell through an intermediary or a set of intermediaries, you have to share in the profit. And so Gillette has inflated the price of razors to a ridiculous point. And so Dollar Shave Club came up with an incredibly simple idea, but they executed it brilliantly. That video cost them almost nothing. They had over 20 million views of that video, 20 plus million views, okay? Gillette's got a massive factory in Boston, they have a 120-year history. They have one of the most recognizable brands in the world. They advertise on the Super Bowl. They advertise on all these major sporting events. And it didn't take but a moment for Gillette to begin a rapid freefall. Okay? This is disruption. Dollar Shave Club today has over half of the men's shaving market, 53% of the men's shaving market. Dollar Shave Club was purchased about a year ago by Unilever for over a billion dollars, okay? Why would Unilever pay a billion dollars for them? Because Unilever realizes that since the financial collapse in 2007, 2008, people are a lot less able to and a lot less willing to pay for branded products, okay? And so they know that they need to eliminate the intermediaries in order to deliver prices that are a lot more competitive. And as a result of that, as a result of that, our good friends at Gillette for the first time are cutting their prices like you can't believe. Gillette was never about deep discounts and low prices, but now that's all they can talk about because they don't know what else to do. 
and they've been laying off people by the thousand, okay? So you can be a heritage brand, you can have a hundred year old history, you can be highly respected, and overnight all of that can come tumbling down like a house of cards. And it's happening all the time, okay? So of course I would think if I was in your shoes and I was at an early phase in my career, I want to understand how these things happened. So I didn't join Gillette just before the free fall. I didn't join our good friends at Blockbuster just before they went into a death spiral. That would be really a very unfun thing to do, okay? So this is what happens most of the time. I love Dilbert because Dilbert speaks the truth, okay? Wally says, and I don't have many people, but this is the, this is the boss, okay? That's his executive assistant. Wally says people are calling me a freaking bottleneck behind my back. Is that true? And his assistant says, I have to call you back after I'm done with FB, okay? FB, oh, Facebook, okay? Most senior executives, unfortunately, wind up in this position of being a bottleneck, okay? And I talk to many young Holt students that have come from corporations where the reason they've left their companies is because their boss was also FB, because they didn't listen to what they had to say. They didn't believe in digital. They didn't believe in social. They didn't believe in cloud. They didn't believe in mobile. They didn't believe in the whole innovation economy. Let's keep doing things the way we've always done them. 